Hi everybody. Um, this little vlog is um, me on a bit of a rant uh, today. Um, as usual, we took Pippin out for a walk. Uh, just we went from our caravan up to the local woodland, which is sort of on the edge of where we where we live. Um, and there is uh, an outdoor or falconry centre up there and the public footpath skirts around the edge of that falconry centre. Um, they were doing a display to a group of people, maybe 10 or 12 people in their display area and uh, yeah, we sort of took note of that and Pippin was off the lead. Um, but they were flying eagles across this display area and this eagle decided that Pippin was fair game and it flew out of their display area into the woodland where we were above the public footpath and I could see it in the trees. It was following us for about sort of 20, 20, 25 yards maybe as we walked through and Pippin went on and I was sort of aware of this luckily because I got closer to Pippin and called her to me and as this happened Pippin was about um, an arm's length away from me and this eagle swooped down and grabbed hold of Pippin. Um, luckily Pippin wears a uh, sort of padded uh, harness with some metal clips on the back. Otherwise, I think more damage would have been done. Um, but it swooped down. Pippin sort of cowered down into a small ball. Luckily, I stepped in and gave the, the eagle uh, a bit of a kick to get it off of Pippin because it was like really going for her. And then as it released Pippin, it flew up and tried to have a go at me and my face. And I managed to, with a bit of presence of mind to bat it away with the back of my hand. And it flew down onto the path and sat there. I think I must have caught it and dazed it. Because this, then the handler from the falconry center came over and tried to sort of get it back by offering it some sort of enticement of meat or whatever it was they were doing. Um, but some other bird handlers came to us and it was like, well, is your dog okay? We apologise, but, you know, it is a bird of prey and your little white dog looks like a rabbit. Which I, th you know, I said, well, it's a public footpath. And, you know, we should be able to walk along the public footpath. To his, this bird handler reply to that was, well, we own this land, and it's a public footpath across our land. As though that made it okay. Well, let me tell you, it doesn't make it okay. I reported it to the police. Um, they took note of it, gave me an incident number. But the police constable who phoned me back said that actually there's no law that covers these birds of prey attacking dogs or people. I would have to make a civil claim if I, if I was injured, and it very well, luckily neither Pippin nor I were injured, and, but if we were, we'd have to make a civil claim. We'd have to take them to court under civil law, which I find incredible. I said to the police officer, well, well look, what would happen if my dog had attacked their bird? And I suggested to him that they'd be straight down here wanting to take Pippin away and put her down as a dangerous dog. And he said, well, yeah, but maybe that, you know, that would be in an extreme case. But let me tell you, that is exactly what would happen under the dangerous dogs laws and stuff like that. They would take our dog away and and kill it but when it's a bird of prey oh no it's okay and i said to him, well, what if it what if i had been injured sure that one of the basic tenets of 
British law is that you shouldn't cause injury to anybody. You shouldn't cause any harm. And let me tell you, they did cause us harm. We have been upset for the whole day. I'm only now calm enough to make this video. I think it's a disgrace that this falconry centre in Cheshire should be allowed to run these birds out of control. Because you may say, well, not out of control, because you know it's just once and it's attacked your dog and maybe Pippin, she's a little white dog, maybe she does look like a rabbit, and uh, maybe it's okay, and maybe it's understandable. But then when we were walking back, somebody else approached us and said, ah, that bird had attacked my two Jack Russells. And guess what? It's also attacked the sight cat. Where we work, I discussed this with my manager and they told me that that bird had attacked another white dog on a lead in the walking field here. And that, it had, <laughs> that, that bird had attacked the handler. It had tried to bite the face of the handler and it had attacked another girl at the falconry centre. Now, they tell me that they're going to rehome the bird. But do you know what? I'm not sure if they will. They tell me they've got 13 eagles in that centre. What do you think? Am I being unreasonable? Am I being too emotional? I don't know. I feel quite emotional about the whole thing. And I feel hard done by that the police have no powers to take control of that situation. I've reported to the RSPCA. They're going to report it to the inspector. Apparently the site will need to be licensed to home those birds and to run them. But do you know what? My cynical mind says that will be about the money. There'll be a license fee and the local council will say, slap on the wrist, don't do it again. Let's take your money for the license fee. Maybe I'm too cynical. Maybe I'm a bit too emotional about it. But do you know what? I think I'm right. Let me know what you think. We've had a bad day.